There he is. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Charlie. It exploded. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to, we're going to talk this morning about John Wesley. Hey. Uh, Do you all know who John Wesley was? He was the founder of the Methodist Church. He was the guy that started the whole Methodist Church. Well, when he was about, when he was six years old, do hmm. you remember what it was like being six? Mm -hmm. Any of you six years old now? No. When he was six years old, there was a big event in his life. And that event was, was that his house burned down. So, and the problem was, was that he was in the second story when it was burned. It was at night. No, this was John Wesley. This was in England. His father was a was a, an Anglican preacher, and uh, that meant he was a preacher in the Church of England. Well, he, he had done something for several weeks that uh, people didn't like. That was he was telling people that they need to repent of their sins and change their ways. Well, they didn't like that, and so they burned his house. Literally, they burned his house, and there he was. This was at a time when there was no fire department, there were no lights, they didn't have flashlights. This was at nighttime. And so somebody saw up in the window in the second story was a little boy. And that boy was John Wesley, and the house was burning. And they saw him in time that, that one, one man went up there and told him to jump, and he jumped in his arms and saved his life. Mm. That was not, he was not a family member. I don't think he was even a church member, but he saved his life. Well, that event, believe it or not, to him, he was pretty much like, a, like an adventure. It didn't really change his life that much. But for his family, it changed them a lot because they thought, wait a minute, God has saved his life from, from burning to death yeah. at six years old. There must be something in store for him in the future. Well, he became a minister just like his father. And he, he was a, 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 having a Bible study one day, just like you have here in church, having a Bible study. And in that Bible study, prior to that point, he, he, he basically was kind of a lukewarm Christian. That means he wasn't all that interested in what was going on. But that day, having a Bible study, he read something in the Bible, and he said that something in his heart changed. That his heart warmed. And he felt that God was telling him that he loved him. And that was the beginning of the Methodist movement. From that point on, John Wesley decided that he had to go out and tell people that God loved him. And that's how we got this church. It didn't start in... in uh, you know, in some, in some uh, somebody having some study somewhere, it started with somebody who had their heart changed by God. Yeah. All right, we're going. Let's have a prayer. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to this day. We thank you for these children. Yeah. We thank you for getting us through all the trials that life has to offer. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you that you have can show us that you love us by, by feeling in our hearts that you do, do care about us. Help us to know that, Lord, as we get older, and help us to share that with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.